Hi there and welcome. Today I'm going to talk about a very relevant topic in today's rapidly expanding technological world. The effects of social media and the critical importance of disconnecting to stay connected. And at the end of the video, I'll share how I work to preserve my peace of mind by disconnecting from social media on a regular basis. My name is Dr. Jody, and I'm a registered psychologist with expertise in all things related to psychological health and resilience. I'm also the founder of MyWorkplaceHealth.com, and I'm a national expert in psychological health and safety in the workplace. So why this big deal about social media use? Social media can be wonderful. It helps us document important memories, stay connected with friends and family who live afar, it can help us learn about all kinds of things, and it can even offer some welcome, mindless distraction at times, right? Sure, without moderation, social media can offer all of these things, and none of these are bad in and of themselves. However, various converging stats all are revealing the same trend, that now more than ever, social media controls us rather than us having controlled use over it. Social media sites are intentionally created to captivate attention, and the longer that we stay on, the better success indices the sites have. The stats are astounding. Among some populations, it's been shown that people will check their phone up to 200 times a day, and that the average person struggles to go more than 10 minutes without checking their phones. Now, in addition to the amount of our valuable time that social media consumes, a vast amount of research is revealing that excessive use contributes to low mood, anxiety, and reduced esteem and confidence. Importantly, it's also having a detrimental impact on our actual ability and capacity to connect, both qualitatively and quantitatively. We are social creatures and rich and meaningful social connections come from uninterrupted quality time together, not from 140 character sound bites or emojis. Ask yourself how your social media use impacts your life. What aspects of your life may be taken away from or interfering with? Consider ways that you can be more intentional about your social media use and make a commitment to planfully disconnect. Creating boundaries with social media use can be incredibly freeing and helpful for our psychological health. Now here are three things that I regularly do with respect to my social media use. First, Almost always, my phone is on silent, unless I'm expecting an important call. And I've disabled social media notifications on my devices so that I have to go into apps to actually review messages. Now, this helps me avoid being unnecessarily distracted. And one of the biggest consequences of social media um, is constant distraction, which takes away from mindful living, and that has a very negative impact on our psychological and emotional health. Secondly, I'm intentional about putting my phone away when I'm connecting with friends and family. Leaving the phone on a counter, upside down, or even in another room can be a great way to just minimize that temptation to check your phone. And finally, every night before I, bed, I go to bed, I turn my phone onto airplane mode. Now, research demonstrates that that contributes to better sleep patterns, um, but more importantly, it also makes me less likely to check my phone if I wake up in the middle of the night and, for example, can't get back to sleep. Thank you so much for your time, and I hope that you found this video helpful. I'd love to hear from you. How do you take time away from social media? Tell us in the comments below. If this video was helpful, be sure to subscribe, share, and hit the like button so I know to make more videos like this.